welcome all today i'm going to tell you about the bdd behavior driven development and kukum and what is the relation between these two first of all we will talk about bdd behavior driven development bdd is actually a technique where you write your test cases in english language and using very simple sentences and what is the purpose of bdd you write your test cases in english language and using very simple sentences so that any technical or non technical person can understand easily and these test cases explained as behavior of the application and these test cases are more user focused like user it, it explains the test cases in simple language so that they are just explaining as user is just doing the or user is performing the test case okay now you will see suppose example i want to perform a test for the login functionality of the application so you will say i want to perform a testing for the login functionality of the application so what you will call it login functionality of the application we will simply say it that it is a feature means we want to test the login functionality of the application so we call it feature so i have just written a feature okay so that anybody any any uh, non technical or technical person can understand easily whether this line is uh, just telling that i want to tell i want to test a feature login functionality second under the feature you can test so many scenarios like login functionality there are so many scenarios of the login functionality like you can test the login functionality for a uh, valid username valid password using valid username valid password using a uh, valid username invalid password or using uh, invalid username valid password so you can say there are so many scenarios for that okay so uh, what scenario you want to test first you have to define it here so i am going to define that i want to test the login functionality with valid credential so now anybody who will how they come to know that whether it is a scenario or what is the purpose of writing this line because it is just like a simple sentence in the english verification of the login with valid credential so just before this sentence i will write scenario so so that anybody can understand that it is scenario after that we are going to write the actual step first step is open chrome browser and enter the application url then step is user will enter the username and password and will click on the login button and the third step he will or she will verify that validate whether user logged in successfully or not so he will perform these three steps so uh, you can say in bdd uh, they also describe that what these are the step uh, these are the steps okay but what is the purpose of these step okay what these steps are telling to the user okay so the first step open browser it is just like a you can say prerequisite or you can say it is just like a you can say uh, the first uh, step which is mandatory so how you will tell that given given means whenever you want to give the first step like a prerequisite you will write given so before the first step i have written given in the same way second step is telling something like a something like a condition condition means when when it is just like a action user enter user and password and click on login it is just like a action so we are just in the bd we just write when when means when this action will be performed and what we have to do then we have to validate user logged in successfully or not this scenario so actually in bdd framework we use some specific keywords we use some specific keywords with the help of those keywords we can tell the user or any person who is who is uh, writing the test cases or the person who is just uh, try to understand the test cases which is already written with the help of this keywords like feature is a keyword scenario is a keyword given is a keyword when is a keyword and then is these are the keyword which is used in the you can say in the bdd framework now we'll come to the next thing that is cucumber what is cucumber so actually bdd is a bdd is a technique bdd is a technique so how you can uh, uh, you can say create or use this bdd technique you have to use a tool for that you have to use a framework for that so cucumber is actually a testing approach which supports the bdd it means if you want to implement bdd you have to take the help of any 
BDD supported tool or framework. So Cucumber is a tool which support BDD. So now in in Cucumber, what we get it in Cucumber. Actually, you can say same thing. We write the test cases in simple English language and we use specific keywords and that keywords are written in Gherkin language. Gherkin language. They are written in Gherkin language. So, so you can say, for example, in the uh, in the previous, uh, you can say, uh, page, I have shown you that uh, these are that, uh, you can say feature, these are the test cases. Uh, so you can say this feature scenario given when then these are all are written in Gherkin language. Okay, in Gherkin language. So now you will see. I will explain that uh, how it is how it works. So you will see this is your uh, you can say test cases which are written in uh, Cucumber using the uh, Gherkin language. And what we will do whenever we write these test cases in this uh, format. We save the file in an extension with the extension that is called dot feature. So I have given the name of my this file my feature dot feature and saved in a folder. Uh, you can save in any folder. In my case, I have saved in a folder and itself given the name of the folder feature folder. So feature folder is actually the name of my folder where I save this file my feature dot feature. Then I have to create a file steps.java. I have to create a file steps.java and this file I will save in a folder that is called step definition. So step definition is a folder which I will create in my framework. Okay. And I will save a file step.java in it. Now what is the use of this steps.java file? Whatever lines or whatever sentences you have written under your scenario, like you have written three, three things given open Chrome browser, something like that. Then when user enter username, this line and then you have written third line then validate user. So in step uh, steps.java what you do for each line for each line which you have written under your scenario you have to create a function. For example the first line I have written given open Chrome. For this line for this line I will create a function in this file. So you can say the name of the function is open Chrome browser enter. So this function is I have written against this line given open Chrome browser and enter application URL. In the same way, I will write next function for this line. When user, when user enter username and password, click on. So I've created another function for in the same way. I will create a third function for this line, then validate user logged in successfully. So actually what is the purpose of stuff dot steps dot Java file for every line, which is written under the scenario. For every line which is written under the scenario, you have to create a function. You have to create a function for every line. It means you have three functions here. So you have to write there three functions here. Now, how you can map it means whenever how you can map it whenever this given open Chrome browser, this line will be executed. Whenever user will run this line, how it will run this function. So how you will map it. So for mapping it, you will use a syntax. What is that syntax? Just before the name of the function, above the declaration of the function, you will write at the rate given. So this given is, means you are mapping this one given and you will use the same whole line open Chrome. Whatever you, line you have used in this feature file, same you will write under the bracket. And only the syntax is that the whole line is uh, written between these two symbols. This is, you can say, cap symbol and this dollar symbol. Same thing you will do for other function like for mapping the second line when user enter username this line how you can map this with this function public void user enter username simply before it you will write at the red one so whatever keyword you have used in your feature file when you will start with it then you will write the whole text which is written in the feature file this whole text you will write in uh, your uh, function as a attribute same you will do for the third line. So for example, in third line, then validate user logged in successfully. What you will do before this function, you will write at the rate then, and then you will write uh, this cap symbol validate user log. So in this way, for each and every line, which is written in the scenario, you map it with a function in your step chart. So now you have mapped it. So now, now that what, what you have to do, whatever uh, functionality you want to write, you want to write under your function, you can, for example, under 
public void open Chrome browser. What is the purpose of this function? So that you can open the Chrome browser and enter the URL. So I've written this. So in this way, whatever functionality you want to achieve, you can write under the under the related function. So you can do it for any test case and you can do it for multiple number of test cases. So in the same way, you can create as you have created this my feature dot feature file, you can create multiple feature files. You can create multiple steps dot Java files with the with different name. And only the condition is that my feature dot feature you will save under the feature folder, all the feature file and all the steps dot Java file or whatever name you have given for other files. Also, you will save in the step definition folder. Now you have created the feature file. You have created the step dot Java file. But now the question is that how they are going to relate, how they are going to run it. Okay, so for that purpose, we will create a Java file, which is runner.java. So we will create a, uh, a one new Java file in our, uh, you can say framework, runner.java. And within it, we are, we know that syntax of class, we will create the create a class under it. And then this file, public class runner. So now the important thing, what we have to write in this class. So just in this class, before the declaration or syntax of the class, we will write at the rate run with cucumber.class. So at the run uh, with is actually you can say setting or syntax or you can say annotation, which will which will help you in running this runner.java file with the help of cucumber features. So this file can run with the help of cucumber feature. Now, second thing you will write at the rate cucumber option. What options you uh, will provide here? So you can say with the help of this file, this runner.java, actually you have to run your feature file. You have to run feature file and feature file will run the related steps.java file. So how they are linked here, how they are related in the cucumber option, the feature, this attribute features equal to feature folder. It actually tells where all the feature files are kept. So I've written features equal to feature folder because my, my feature.feature file is kept under the feature folder. So here, this is the name of the folder where you have kept your feature files and blue equal to step definition. What is that blue equal to you write the name of the folder where you are all steps.java steps related files are written. So you give the name of the folder. Okay. Now you can run your this runner.java file and runner.java file will run all the features file. Uh, you, you, for example, you can run my feature file and other files also. And this feature file will just go with map with the run all the map function here. So in this way, your uh, you can say your test cases will run. Okay. So this is, you can say a small picture of, you can say uh, BDD and Cucumber framework, uh, Cucumber and how they are related to each other. So in the next video, I will show you how to implement this whole structure in any ID. So in next video, I will show you the whole implementation in Eclipse ID. And then I will show you that how you can run it properly. What is, and also what is the prerequisite to create this framework in ID. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel also. Thank you.